All praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhakwadash, that by honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwath, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. And this is this is a reality. Prepare your mind, part two. In these times that we're about to head into, as we get in closer, we definitely need to prepare our mind. So hopefully this video will be edifying and understanding that the Lord, he had the last say so when it comes to judgment. But also within judgment, the Lord is fair. The Lord is merciful because the scriptures that I'm going to get is going to back up my claim. So it says the wicked is driven away in his wickedness, but the righteous have hope in his death. So for those who's going to be a martyr, which is those who die standing stiffly for the name of the Lord. The next set of scriptures I'm going to get, I meditate on this a lot just in case, you know, I might be part of that martyrship. You know, I hope to stay alive through the whole thing, but that's not guaranteed. So um, we have hope in our death if that's our fate. And the Lord, he creates pain. He creates death. He creates. So the issues of death come from him. He make of alive, he killeth. So the Lord, so when you read the stories of the men, you know, who got stoned, who got killed by wicked ass Israelites, you know, those who killed the prophets and things like that. Then when you go into the Maccabee brothers, you know, um, first Maccabee seven, no second Maccabee seven, you know, you, you read about it and it's like horrific deaths, but one of the sons of the Maccabee brothers, he basically, he was the fourth one, I want to say. And when it was his time to die, he, he stuck out his tongue. He put out his hands because the devil was um castrating them. You know, he was cutting them, you know, in pieces and things like that. But here's the point. So. So it said, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high and there should no torment touch them. See, when the Lord says something, it's the truth. So that's one thing that you have to understand. So what do it mean? Where if you get put to death, and especially in the way that the Maccabee brothers got put to death, that was torture. But he said no evil. He said no torment shall touch them. So that means that the Lord can make it painless. The Lord can make it quick. That's the type of mindset that you got to go into. All right. Because it's in the scriptures. We're reading about it right now. This is the type of faith that you have to take out, that you have to take into the world, that you have to take on your journey. And it's true. So, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high and there should no torment touch them. So the Lord can make it painless. All right. And it says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their departure is taken from misery because you're going to have a lot of people going to be like, she, I ain't about to die. I'm going to do what I got to do to save my life. Just like the people did what they had to do to save their job. They took the hokey pokies instead of being like, hell no, nah, I ain't taking the hokey pokey. I don't know what's in that. All right. So people going to look at the ones who are martyrs like they're stupid. But it says, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace, which the last video I made, this is part two of that. So that was going into the death aspect of what it really is. Those who die are in peace. Why are you talking shit about them? They in the heavenly realm with the father and you on earth don't know what your judgment going to be. And it said, for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality. So the righteous have hope in their death. The first scripture that I started off with. So we have something to look forward to, especially if you stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. Immortality. I'm going to end it on those, set of, on those sets of scriptures. And it said, and have, and have it been a little chastised. See, the Lord called this a little chastisement. You getting, you getting tortured. You don't know what the hell Esau going to do. You know? Especially if you... Scripture says, um, let's get that real quick. You don't know what the hell he's going to be doing to you in these, um, damn concentration camps. 
So it says, for fear, none of those things which you shall suffer. So we're going to suffer, right? Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that you may be tried. And you shall have tribulation 10 days. Be you faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. So the Lord is telling you, yeah, they're going to be able to put you to death. But what are we reading about? It said, and have being a little chastised. That's the fifth verse. Then when you go up to the first verse, it says, shall no evil touch them. Shall no um, torment touch them. Why are you getting tormented? The Lord can numb your body. All right. It's not. The scripture says that it's not um, appointed to us. For matter of fact, what is that? First Thessalonians. So, like I said, these are the type of videos that, you know, matter of fact, these are the type of scriptures that you should meditate on. So it said for the most high have not appointed us to wrath. See? But to obtain salvation, but our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So having a mindset, believing in the scriptures of what they say, that if it's meant for you to be a martyr, then the Lord got you. First of all, He gonna put the spirit on you to go through it. That's why I don't praise the men that went through it. I praise the Lord for giving them the spirit to go through it. The same spirit that He's gonna give us. So verse five again, and have been a little chastised, they should be greatly rewarded for the most high approved them. That's a testing of your faith and found them worthy for himself as gold in a furnace. Have he tried them and received them as a burnt offering? All right. So, you know, these are the things that you need to meditate on. These are the things that you need to pray that the Lord give you strength to endure these things, because this is going to be some of our fate. So, like I said, I'm going to end it on this. Just a quick video, a little quick exhortation. Exhortation means to build up, you know, and what we're trying to build up, our faith, our confidence. It says, and as we have borne the image of the earthy, which we are in right now, this flesh, we should also bear the image of the heavenly, which we're going to be changed. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot in inherit the kingdom of the most high neither do corruption inherit corruption neither do corruption inherit incorruption behold i shall show you a mystery we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed so those who do not be a martyr they're going to be changed in a twinkle of an eye those who die in the lord first first thessalonians 4 and 16 those who die in the Lord should be risen first. They're going to be changed in the twinkle of an eye. We're going to be in a new body. Just to give you a quick um, explanation of that scripture. So it says, Beloved, which is the house of David, the elect, now are we the sons of the Most High, and it do not yet appear what we shall be, but, when, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So we will get that. <clears throat> so we're going to get that heavenly body like Yahweh Shah got. All right. He's in his glory right now. We're trying to enter into our glory. See, Yahweh Shah had to go through his sacrifice. We got to go through our sacrifice. The Lord said, you're going to have to bear your cross. And it said, behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump, which means right before the missiles drop. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Those who die in the Lord shall be risen first and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So after going through this Jacob's trouble, the last trouble, everlasting life. So I always say this. We only have to go through trouble one last time. So let's go through it manfully. Let's go through it. With the faith of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Because it's inevitable. This is the Lord's movie. This is the way that he wrote it. This is the way that it's going to be. So we have to go through it. And it says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption. This mortal must be put on immortality. Which means we're never going to be able to sin. Which means we're never going to be able to die. As it say in Romans 6 and 23, The wages of sin is death. So if, if we can't sin, we can't die. That's why we're going to be immortal. The Lord is going to write the law, statutes, commandments in our inward parts. We ain't going to need the Bible. We ain't going to need to, you know, try to fight the flesh anymore. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for that. 
So it says, when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. So you're dying to die no more. Talk about for the martyr. Some of us ain't going to taste death. But this is the mindset. Everybody should be preparing their mind to die for this thing because that could be a possibility. All right. But some of us ain't going to taste death, but we don't know who those people may be. All right. So it says, oh, death, where is your sting or grave? Where is your victory? The sting of death is sin. See, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to the most high, which give us the victory through our Lord. Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. So that's you being diligent as you stand stiffly for the name of the Lord all the way into the end. Until the Lord take us off the street till the Lord shut down the Internet. Scripture said it's going to be a famine of the word, but until that time, we got to keep pushing on. And it said, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So the Lord is going to reward us, you know, for, for the things that we do. We have a reward coming. So, yeah, I just wanted, like I said, I just want to make a quick video. You know, this is a reality. Prepare your mind part two. Hopefully this video is edifying. And um, shalom.